LeBron, just first your thoughts on Tyson, what he's meant this week, and culminating with that play tonight to finish the game. I mean, he's huge. We know we, um, you know, we had a, a spot that um, that needed some reassurance, and uh, for us to be able to get you know Tyson in the fashion that we got him, and the Mills to implement him in right away, and the impact that he's made in what these stuff for three games, he's played three games so far. Um, it's great. You ended up getting the points back on the putback dunk, but the the missed free throws. Uh, what uh, was was behind that? Do you think? Um, I'm garbage. Yeah, I suck from the free throw line right now. I'll get my rhythm back, but um, I thank Kuz for giving me an, another opportunity, giving us another opportunity. And then I just he gave me another shot, so I try to get him another shot. Any commonalities in the in teams coming back late <laughs> in some of these uh, That's not good. fourth That's quarters? Not good. Uh, uh, come back in these fourth quarters, LeBron, and what do you guys have to do better? Um, they got a great rhythm, and um, there was nothing we can do about it once they got that rhythm. And um, they, once you get a team to get a good rhythm like that, and, and Trey is playing a pick and roll like he did, um, it, it's just hard to get it back. So defensively, you know, we got to have both units clicking at the same time like we had last night. Um, tonight we had one unit at a time that was clicking, and, um, you know, we allowed them to get back into the game. LeBron, the, 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 the celebration was so jubilant after the block and after you'd won the game. Why did that feel so good? Um, well, it was just off the reaction of Tyson. And um, I believe that it's just for him to be playing winning basketball once again. I think uh, those emotions came out um, to make a game-winning block. You don't see that much in our league. You see a lot of game-winning shots. You see a lot of game-winning assists. Um, but for you to see a game-winning defensive block like that, you don't, you don't see that much in our league. So for him to go up there and get that, um, you know, uh, on a guy that's shooting a floater um, and time it perfectly, um, you know, we're all excited about that. There was a change of possession when Kyle ended up getting the game time layup. Um, How would you guys get the ball? Oh, uh, we got a steal. Yeah. yeah. LeBron, what did you think of uh, both teams wearing the enough shirts and what's your understanding of how that came about? Um, I think it's about recognizing uh, what's going on in society and uh, for us to be so close to this uh, situation, um, you know, not being too far away. And, you know, my, first of all, my prayers and my condolences to all the families that lost loved ones and under such a, um, a act that none of us ever, you know, want to be a part of, obviously, but never want even to hear about, you know, no matter know how close or how far you are. So, um, you know, for, our, for us to have a commissioner like we have to he even allow us to do something like this, um, number one, that's amazing. That's why we all love Adam. And then for us to recognize uh, both teams, you know, and I've seen, um, I've seen the Clippers do it as well um, in their last home game, um, just recognizing, uh, you know, a very, um, you know, troubling, you know, time at that point in time, but also recognizing, you know, that we understand, that we not, I don't want to say understand, but we're here for the families um, in spirit, in, in health, and in, in, in support. What went through your mind when you first heard about that, the shooting? Uh, probably the same that went through everybody's mind. Uh, uh, not again. Oh, wow. What the hell? Probably some more explicit terms that I won't say right here. Um, just how do we clean up this? this I think this, it all comes back to this gun situation that we have in America. The gun violence and to be able to, you know, I don't definitely want to go into that right now, but I can do it at a later point. But we know that these people are just being able to just go and buy guns and do things with them, and you know, innocent lives are being taken. And um, at young age, young ages, you know, I, when I was when I was when I was younger, um, we didn't really have to worry about gun violence too much. I mean, if you had a problem with somebody you kind of fist it out and move on and, and 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 now it's like people are like shooting it out and don't even have a problem with somebody they just you know either got a problem with themselves or you know a problem with the situation that they're in so it's just it's just very troubling times for everyone you know and for parents they're just you know how do you how can you be comfortable with sending your kids to school or sending them to church or sending them to the movies or sending them to the mall where those are kind of like the the, the the great havens like when I was growing up. You know, school, you know, church, go to the mall, go to a sporting event. That was like heaven, you know, and you know, it's kind of scary at this point in time. So sorry to go in depth with it, but you guys asked. Yeah, I'm sure I've had a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, so but, what is that like? Um, I mean, you know, honestly, you just, you're trying to make plays, you know, um, 
you know, necessarily thinking about that. You just want to win, um, you know. And it was just trying. To, I was just trying to time him down the stretch. You know, I saw that uh, he committed to the basket, and I was watching the clock, and you know, knew he didn't have enough time to to go to my guy, so I committed at the rim. Because that was the hard part, right? Because if you leave too early, your guy gets a dunk. So you kind of have one eye on the clock, one eye on Trey Young. One hundred percent. I'm watching him, and you know, I seen they went to the pick and roll first, and then he called for the ISO, and then as my guy went to the corner, you know, I'm studying the clock. And then when I see him go, I know he has to commit, uh, so I commit. What is this like for you? Four days ago, you were on a last place team not playing. Now you're the reason the Lakers are on a winning streak. What is that like? Well, you know, it's, it's all team. Um, you know, I definitely appreciate it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be about team, you know, all year uh, in order for us to accomplish what we want to accomplish. Um, but for sure, it's been a it's been a quick turnaround, um, you know, and I'm very excited to be here. Like I said, at this point in my career, I'm grateful for everything, you know, and um, I just try to cherish every moment out there. What do you remember? Uh, win, man. Honestly, uh, you know, I still get excited by every single win. Uh, you know, especially, you know, this team is a, is a group of incredible guys, you know, a mixture of veterans that I've competed against my entire career and the young guys that, you know, I'm growing to appreciate. And, you know, uh, it's, it's just every single moment, honestly, out there that we get an opportunity to grow. You know, I know what it's going to take, you know, for the end of the year. So, again, just cherishing every one of those moments and trying to grow at the same time. On the play that LeBron won the game on, the follow dunk, yeah. what what did you see? That looked like a wild scramble. I think Kuzma yeah. had the ball yeah. twice. You were in the middle of all of it. What do you remember about that? Just uh, trying to, again, make a play down the stretch, um, you know, making them work, you know, not giving up on a play. Uh, you know, I was down there battling. Kuzma was battling. He, you know, we all were trying to get it back up on the rim. Did LeBron, so I called that play live. Just, did LeBron surprise you coming up from the back? I didn't, I didn't see him at all. I saw me and Kuzma fighting, and then all of a sudden, of course, the beast come out of nowhere and, and dunks for the win. Love of winning basketball. Is that something that you almost forgot you had, and now it's kind of been reawakened? Yeah, yeah honestly, um, you know, when, when you're out there and so many other things are contributing, you know, and you got so many other, like, distractions, um, yes. But, you know, now, again, uh, with the leadership that we have in the locker room and the young energy, um, you know, I found myself acting like a kid in the candy store all over again. It's, you know, honestly, I, I can't be thankful enough. What did Tyson say to you afterward? He gave you a couple big hugs. He was shouting something at you. What was that? Honestly, I don't know. We probably, again, like two kids jumping for joy. I said, that's my dog. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there it is. That's my dog. Um, it was not a pretty win for us tonight, but uh, a win is a win. So we will... We'll take it and learn from it uh, and, you know, give Atlanta credit. They, they're a scrappy team. Uh, I thought defensively we played a pretty, a pretty good game as far as what we've been doing and what we've been focusing on. Uh, and until the end, they got, they got loose on us a little bit at the end. But overall, uh, pleased with our defense. Uh, offensively, I think we took a little bit of a step back tonight. But uh, like I said, that's kind of the the way it works. You know, you move forward, move forward, step back, move forward. So uh, glad we were able to get a win in it. Luke, your thoughts on that final possession from Tyson and just what he's meant in this first week with you? Oh, he's been big. Uh, you know, not only the way he plays on the court, but the way he talks in the huddles, the way he, the, the way he um, communicates, practices, and then finishing out games with winning plays, whether it's, you know, in Sacramento, diving into the crowd uh, at home, getting, t you know, tip out after tip out uh, tonight on the defensive end with a block shot, winning type of plays. So um, we are, we're very happy we have him. Uh, when, you, when you look at his night, uh, you know, maybe not what he wanted exactly overall, but, but at the end sort of having that resilience to make that kind of play, I mean, do you, do you sense that's Sort of his, his veteran experience, or is that some aspect specific to Tyson? Well, he's a winner. Yeah, you know, he's he's a he's a champion, and he's a he's been doing it at at this uh, level for a lot of a lot of years now. So, he he knows uh, you know how to win. I'm sure it was tough for him, and not just for him, but it was back to back uh, two teams that like to play really fast, two of the top teams in the NBA in pace. Um, so, you know, it was probably a little challenging, but he, he found his way and obviously was a huge part of us being able to win tonight.